Hey what's up guys it's Alex Arnuznas here and in this video I'll be showing you the loot from 50 purple presents from the new Christmas present treasure hunter event where you get a chance at the green Santa hat potentially and the new Reese and Christmas size. Now I want to give a big disclaimer here. The majority of these keys were collected through oddments and earning keys. I have hundreds of thousands of oddments and was able to buy the maximum keys every single day to spin and I also was able to earn actually a really good amount of keys through the earn keys section of the treasure hunter store um, so I did some surveys and I was able to get some keys through that and I also spent a few bonds for the sake of this video but I advise all of you not to spend any real money on this or even bonds and I'll explain why in a bit so make sure you stick around for that but for this event basically you get to open presents all of which are a different color the purple presents are the best presents and those are the ones that you can get the green Santa hat from which is basically what everyone wants and why everyone is doing this event now the purple presents are very similar to the purple gems and they're usually very rare on treasure hunter however However, as you'll see during this video, a lot of the purple presents weren't actually that very rare at all for me. So during these keys, I actually ended up getting these purple presents way, way more common than what you do on normal treasure hunter, you know, when you're spinning. And this is what I think makes this promo actually pretty wrong and deceiving. Basically, when you get a purple present, you think to yourself, oh wow, I have a chance at the green Santa hat, which is technically true. But we're going to look deeper into the probabilities real fast and you'll see exactly what I mean. So you can actually look at the probabilities of treasure hunter things which is something I didn't even know because the button's kind of small and I actually had never clicked that before. So basically this shows you the odds and when you first look at it you're like oh okay the scythe is 0.06% chance and so is the Christmas wreath. Is it really that bad? But then you look at the green Santa and it's 0.005% chance. Now you might think to yourself, oh, okay, 0.005. At first glance, that doesn't seem super bad, but do you actually know what the odds of a 0.005% chance are? Well, I'll tell you right now, the odds of a 0.05% chance happening is 1 in 20,000. Yes, you heard me right. You have a 1 in 20,000 chance per key to get the green Santa hat. This is the equivalent to 80 billion in GP and bonds or $5,000 USD if you bought keys. If we use a probability calculator, we can see that an event that has a 0.005% chance of occurring, if we have 1,000 tries at that event, which in this instance would be 1,000 keys, we have a 4.8% chance of this event occurring, which means if you use 1,000 keys, you only have a 4.8% chance of actually getting the green Santa hat. I really thought that people needed to know this because when you first glance at the odds it doesn't seem that crazy but when you actually dig into it the amount and the uh, like sheer unlikeliness of getting a green Santa just becomes so apparent and if everyone knew this I feel like the people buying keys and you know spending all their bonds on keys would be way less. I know people personally that have done thousands upon thousands of keys with no green Santa hat. I've probably done close to, I don't even know, 750 keys with the surveys I did, all the oddments I would buy every day, uh, the bonds I spent, and when you look at these odds, you really don't see that probability as such an unlikely thing, but if you never looked at these or you didn't do any calculations, you would think the purple presents give you a pretty good shot. So we're going to actually get into these purple presents that I received and then we'll talk about the loot at the end so stick around. I'm just going to play some music and you guys can watch me open these. Something I want to quickly mention about these statistics is they could not be totally accurate because of the fact that we don't know if this is calculated as a drop per key per present or per prize. So since there are two presents that you can choose between, if the rate is calculated per present, then that would mean since you have two choices, that cuts the rate in half from one in 20K to less. And then also there are three potential prizes you can get for each present. So that drops the rate even more. So depending on how the percentage is calculated, if it's calculated that you just have that percent per key, then it's one in 20K. If it's you have that percent 
per present, then it's less. And then if it's you have that percent per prize, then it's even less. I would say the true rate lies between one in 5K and one in 10K, probably somewhere in there from all the loot I've seen and everything like that, considering all this. so from 50 purple presents we did not get a green santa hat and i really didn't get that many other holiday items which are like 10 times more common than the santa hat i can't tell anyone what to do with their money or their in-game gold but do i think this promo is really worth spending real money or bonds on with the sole purpose of getting the green santa hat absolutely not <laughs> 
With bonds, you could probably buy 10 Santa hats before you get one, and with real money, if your goal is to get a Santa hat with real money, buying bonds and selling them on the Grand Exchange to buy the Green Santa will probably be much, much cheaper for you as well instead of trying to get it through keys with your bonds. I just kind of find this event having a lot of like adrenaline highs, like they constantly give you that high of thinking maybe you could get something good because of how frequent the purple presents actually come up compared to you know when you're normally play playing treasure hunter, but in reality your chances of getting that green Santa hat from those are very very slim. I thought I'd make this video to show you my experience opening these presents and during this promo and also give you guys some statistics so you can see for yourself just how rare the green Santa actually is. And for all that wrapping paper that I got doing these keys, yeah I ended up using that too and I didn't really get anything to note. I know a friend that used like 100k wrapping paper with not even a single gold present let alone the Santa hat. So what would my advice to be to you? Well if I were to give you this advice, in my opinion, I think skilling during this event, saving up your paper, and then buying your max amount of keys with oddments and then converting your rewards to more oddments so you can continue to buy free keys every day is going to be the route that I would go. Personally, I'm not going to be putting any more bonds or any real money into this event. If you choose to, that's totally fine. It's your right, of course. But I just wanted to let you guys know what usually happens with these purple presents. And I still want to spread some Christmas cheer. And although I can't give away a green Santa hat because I can't really afford one myself, I will give away a Christmas scythe and the wreath hat to somebody. So if you'd like to enter, you don't need to subscribe. You don't need to like the video or anything like that because this isn't about that. This is just about giving back to you all. So all you need to do is comment just so that can be a way that I can pick the winner but yeah I just want to give you guys some goodies and I hope you found this video interesting and at the very least informative thanks for watching everyone Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the next one